So late last year, Biodynamic released two new sets of headphones into their prestigious range. We've often looked at these on the channel, the DT700 Pro Xs, but at the same time, they also released these, the DT900 Pro Xs, and we're gonna take a close look at them this week. Hi, I'm David from talkingtechandaudio.com. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much indeed. And if you haven't, well, you know what to do. The buttons are just down there. Like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me and the channel out. And while you're over on the website, talkingtechandaudio.com, leave me your email address. And as soon as I've got enough names in the database, say 60 or 70 names, I'm going to begin doing a midweek video just to let you know what's going on with me and the channel and what you can expect to see from me next. So late last year, Biodynamic released two new sets of headphones into their already prestigious lineup. We have looked at these, the DT700 Pro Xs, many, many times on this channel. I'll leave a link to one of the videos up there if you want to catch up on it. But at the very same time, they also released a brand new pair of open back headphones to replace the 990s. These were the 900 Pro Xs, and we are gonna take a really close look at these today. Build quality, sound, quality and performance, just to let you know what I think of them and whether they're going to be suitable to your lineup. One of the main reasons for buying biodynamic headphones, apart from the sound, is the build quality, and you'll not be disappointed with these. Like with the 700s that we've looked at a number of times on the channel, these weigh 350 grams without the cable. There is two detachable cables in the box that you get. They are attached by a mini XLR cable, which fits into the left-hand cup there. And you get two lengths as well, so whatever environment you find yourself working in, you're never going to be uh, wanting for a cable that's the right length. There's nothing more annoying, I find, than having a cable that's way too long that you keep tripping over, which is something that did happen to me quite a few times using the Bio 770s over a number of years. If you look at Biodynamics website, you'll notice that sustainability is very important to them. On the box that these come in, it references that it's 100% recycled material that it's made from. Gone is all the cellophane of the earlier models. And uh, on the headphones themselves, everything is removable. Obviously the cable I've mentioned is removable. The headband is now very removable too. There's a little tab, I don't know if I can show you, just inside the headband there, which simply pulls off and it unclips as simple as that, and it just pops back into place. And the ear pads. Now, if you've ever tried replacing the ear pads on the DT770s, you'll know that it was quite a tricky task. On here, I'm glad to report, it's literally a pull and pop situation. Now, I don't think these are yet available to buy replacements, but clearly the fact that they're so easily removable means that Biodynamic will soon be making them available to buy. And as these wear down, and I suggest probably replacing ear pads every couple of years, then these are gonna be so simple to get on and off. On the 770s, it was tricky. You needed patience, an afternoon, and a hairdryer. I might cover that on a future video, but I'm glad to say that they've solved that problem with these headphones, with these simple clips that come on and off for these replaceable earbuds. Before we move on to talking about sound, I just wanted to come back to the ear cups for one more moment. They're clearly a very important part of the design of the headphones. They're thicker than the 770s and more padded. And the shape inside, that very circular shape, means they fit around your ears ever so well. I mean, clearly that depends on the size of one's ears. I think mine are kind of an average size, if that helps you at all. But they fit around ever so well. Now these, as you know, are the open back uh, headphones. But even then, there's a great amount of isolation that comes with them. And I think that comes in no small part, not just from the fit of the ear pads, but also from the pressure from the headband as well. I love the way that the padded headband fits. Now, these are fairly new. I've only been wearing these for a few days uh, as of recording this, but already they're feeling very comfortable. And when I was doing the referencing checks on a couple of tracks for these, I was probably wearing them for two hours, maybe three hours. And at no point do they become uncomfortable, even though they do weigh, as I mentioned, 350 grams. But uh, yeah, those ear cups, I think, are a really defining part of both these and the 700. The Pro X range of headphones have absolutely got it nailed when it comes to the fit and comfort of those ear cups. And so onto the sound. The, the hardest part of any video about headphones is trying to describe the sound, but I'll do my best for you. Uh, they've got the same diffusion pads as the 700s and also the Stellar 45 drivers. And those Stellar 45 drivers, one of the biggest steps forward that Biodynamic made with these. It enables you to use them across any kind of device. You can use them on your iPad, on your smartphone, straight into a Mac, through a Scarlett 2i2, which I do regularly here in the studio. I've got a Yamaha mixing desk. They work through any device and they sound wonderful. Even when you turn the volume up, I found, although you begin to lose some of the delicacy and some certainly of the trebles go when you turn them up, those Stellar 45 drivers have made these such a compliant set of headphones, both these and the closed back variation, the 700s as well, 
a wonderful, wonderful development that Biodynamic should be rightfully very proud of. Biodynamic have been very clever, I think, in deciding who they wanted to appeal to with these Pro X range of headphones, both the 700s and the 900s we've got here. They are clearly aimed at professional and semi-professional use. They're aimed also to be worn for many hours of the day. But the great thing with these is I wouldn't have any problems in taking these into the living room to watch TV in the evening, having used them all day. They're that comfortable. Don't forget, you've got that longer cable as well. So if your TV and your amp is further away from you, you can just plug in the longer cable, sit back and enjoy the sound of these on the sofa in the evening time, as well as using them daytime during the studio. The sound is as near flat as I've found in any open back headphones. I have obviously spent time comparing these to the 990s behind me on the desk. These are brighter. I feel the vocal delivery is more present in these. And I think the fact that they have scooped out those lower mids has left more space for the vocal delivery. And so vocals are important in your work and what you spend a lot of hours listening to day by day. I think you're gonna really enjoy wearing these. They're bright, don't get me wrong, they're definitely bright but the delivery is very crisp, it's very sharp. Because of that lack of heavy bass, the sub bass, you're not gonna get fatigued, the ears aren't gonna become tired. I think you're gonna really like the delivery of these. Um, obviously, if you're working alongside people, they are open back, so there will be some sound leakage, so just bear that in mind. But also the fact that open back means they let in some of the transient sound as well. So when you're mixing, what I tried doing before uh, making this video was just editing as if I was going to make a podcast. And because I was getting the transient sounds in, I was getting an idea of how it would sound across platform because as with most of us, if I'm making and mastering audio to go out, I'll listen to it on many different devices to make sure that it sounds as even as possible across as many different devices as possible. So Biodynamic have clearly thought who they want to sell these headphones to. And I think they've positioned them very, very well. There are links down in the description of these headphones and the 700s as well. If you click on them, they're affiliate links. That really does help me out. It means I can uh, get more kit here on the channel, review it for you, and uh, give you my views on many more pairs of headphones to come. So who were Biodynamic aiming at with these headphones? Definitely professionals and semi-professionals is where these were meant to be aimed at, I believe. At the price point, the mid price point of headphones, I think they've done an amazing job. Those Stellar 45 drivers have raised the bar and uh, they have made these pairs of headphones along with the 700 so consummate, so comfortable, so easy to use across different platforms that I think they've really set the bar, as I mentioned, very high. The fact that the cable is also removable is brilliant. It future proofs these headphones so much. We've all had that horrible feeling with a favorite pair of headphones where the cable becomes brittle or you can hear there's a bad connection in there. The fact that it's interchangeable now with this mini XLR, I love the fact that uh, these headphones are gonna last for years and years to come. I think there's more reason to change up sooner from the uh, 990s to these 900s than there was in the 770s to the 700s. I think you'll find the changes and the different sound delivery in these more noticeable. So if you are thinking of changing, I think there's a really good reason to change from the 990s to these. That vocal delivery, as I mentioned, is improved on here. The way they've scooped out just fractionally those lower mids means the vocal delivery is ever so present and clear. And I think you're really going to enjoy using these on a day-to-day -day basis. But let me know in the comments down below, have you used a pair of these 900 Pro Xs yet? Have you used the 700s? I'd love to know if you've been using them on your projects, what kind of projects are they? And also what doors you use. I'd love to know if you're using Logic or like myself, a confirmed Adobe Audition user. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment and share on this video as well. It really helps me and the channel out. And if you've got a few moments, pop on over to that website, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it seems a long while ago now, talkingtechandaudio.com, leave me your email address. And I'm gonna start making a midweek video soon, just to let you know what I'm up to and what you can expect to see and hear on this channel. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.